Hey everybody, this is Ryan. Uh, I saw this spooky ghost video uh, earlier this morning, and I've noticed a couple discrepancies with it. And so I'm just going to debunk the ever-loving fuck out of it, whether you like it or not. I'm about to ruin some magic for you. So first things first. So this door is pretty easily explainable. Literally, all it is is somebody is standing uh, behind the door when it opens. So they just open it, and then they just slam it. That's, that's pretty simple. Uh, second thing, so... Uh, with this cabinet thing right here... Let me just scale this down a little bit. So, uh, later on we see that this cabinet shakes. Like so. Very, very spooky scary, right? Well, if you notice, this cabinet, and specifically this one right here, is conveniently located right in front of a window. So, what they did here is they simply just stood behind the window while it was open, and they just pushed it and rocked it back and forth like this. Now, the next two aren't really practical things, like somebody standing behind the door or somebody standing behind the window and shaking it. These ones, I believe, are just actual just editing effects where they likely just took a still frame, layered it on top, and then uh, either rotoscoped or just uh, cut out like pieces of the, uh, of the still frame to give the illusion that there's nobody there doing it. So my evidence here, as you'll see, so we see that cabinet open and the shit falls down, right? Well, let's zoom in, shall we? Gonna zoom way the fuck in right here. So I noticed something, particularly with a piece, one of the pieces of paper right here. So if we go frame by frame, so it's all falling at the same time within the same frame, right? But this one right here, oh, hold on one second. You'll see that for one frame, it stays still while all of, while everything else in the video moves. God damn it. Yeah, you see that shit? Yeah, so you're telling me that time just happened to stop for this piece of paper right here? <laughs> that Dio came in fucking Zawarudo to specifically that slight, that piece of paper? <laughs> and then there's another thing I noticed. If you look right here, a piece of this cabinet seems to jut out uh, along with uh, the rest of these pieces of paper falling. As you notice, way before and leading up to, it stays still. But then as soon as this piece hits the ground, we see that it comes out. So it seems as though somebody uh, maybe used the lasso tool or the pin tool, I think is what it's called. Free draw, yeah to just free draw this around, and then that is a little error that they left in. Yeah, ain't that some shit? Right there. Right there. And you can also see it with- oh, I just now noticed this. You can also see it with this little handle, look. All of this is moving along with the pieces of paper. Ain't that some shit? Look at that. That's some shit, ain't it? And then also the final one is with this... Uh, wet floor sign. So, if I scale it down... And then just play it, you'll see... Oh my god, it's scary. Oh no, I'm gonna wet myself. Oh, but then actually. So, 
One thing that I noticed about this, uh, similar with this, I think it's just somebody uh, layering a freeze frame of the footage uh, on top and then just doing maybe some kind of free draw bazir. So if you notice, I said if you notice, there's something funky going on here, right? So as this flips around, you can see all of this blurriness surrounding uh, the path where this sign flings around. So I just want to show, so just look very carefully right here. So you can see that the lines instantly become blurry. Like you can clearly see that there's these lines on the ground, right? But then as soon as it starts flipping around, can't really see them all too well. And that's especially evident right here. So we see that it flips around and see how it gets blurry. And look, the lines are very, very blurry and it's within the path that this flips around. And then we see that shortly after it lands, oh look, it's suddenly very clear again. So how convenient. So just to play that, um, just in, uh, full motion. You see that? All of these effects are very, very easy things to do. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe this was some kind of a student project, considering that this was at a school, or maybe, uh, just some student had the idea, hey, let's make a viral ghost video. And uh, the parents got together and it worked. So, there you have it. A thorough... Well, I mean, not... S I'm gonna say thoroughly debunked, but clearly, you know, there's gonna be some believers out there who are gonna be like, Oh, well, it could be this. Oh, it's just a fragmentation. Uh, oh, it's a bit... <laughs> That's another thing that I want to point out, is that this video very conveniently is in 480p quality. It's... Because, like, look, you can see, like, how good the footage looks and everything, but it's in 480p? Really? Do you really expect me to believe that? <laughs> but yeah, anyways, thanks everybody for watching this debunk video. Uh, bye.